Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So speaking of topics, what we're going to be covering here today is a static equilibrium problem. And what we have going on is that we have a 3.6 meter length steel pipe with a mass of 300 kilograms is lifted by the crane cable CD as shown. And we need to determine the cable or the tension in the cable sling AC. B, knowing that the length of this sling, ACB, is 4.5 meters for the first part of the problem and then 6 meters for the second part of the problem. So, with this particular problem, we have the weight of our um, pa uh, pipe, which is 300 uh, kilograms, and of course we'll change that into uh, newtons once we get there. But this force is going to be transferred through the sling on each side, and it's going to be an equal transfer because this is a nice uniform steel pipe and each cable is at each end. So it's going to be a nice uniform transfer. And this force exerted by this pipe will be the same force that needs to be picked up by cable DC. So instead of using a free body diagram here for the bottom, we are going to focus our free body diagram right here at point C. So for my free body diagram here, I'm going to draw my XY coordinate system. Whoa, way off the origin point there, but make it a little bit bigger. Doesn't hurt anything. So we are going to have our force of our steel pipe, which is going to be 300 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. And that will transfer that into 2,000 943 newtons of force. <clears throat> and then each of these cables, or this part of the sling here, I'm going to draw a force for AC and a force for CB. And these are going to be equal to one another because the load is nice and uniform and distributed evenly to each one. So I'm just going to label it force F, force F. So our free body diagram is going to be like this for each part of our problem, part A and part B. Now, part A is saying that the sling is 4.5 meters in length. And we are assuming that this cable from the crane is picking up this sling and this pipe nice and uniform right at the centroid, at the center of the sling. Otherwise, this pipe is going to be swinging left and right if it's not right down the center. So utilizing the 4.5 meters first, that means that the sling is going to be half of that on each side, which is 2.25 meters on this side, and down here will also be 2.25 meters. So since I don't have any angles here, I have to fill in these little triangles for my forces, which gives me the slope of that force with my rise over my run. So the hypotenuse side here is 2.25 meters for each one. Well, then what is the horizontal or the vertical? Well, assuming that it's right down the center here, that means that the horizontal for each of these is going to be 3.6 over 2, which gives me 1.8 meters on each side. So 1.8 for the horizontal for each force. And if you have two sides of a right triangle, you can find the third side by using the Pythagorean theorem. So if I were to draw that out on this side here, we would have 2.25, 1.8. And then this side right here is going to be the square root of 2.25 squared minus off 1.8 squared, all of that square rooted. And that gives me 1.35. So each of these is 1.35. 1.35 in the vertical. Probably should have made the free body diagram a little bit bigger because that's getting a little small writing right there. But looking at the free body diagram for my first part, which is part A, this is what I have going on here. And I just need to find out what force F is because that's the tension throughout the sling. Well, with static equilibrium, you have two choices to start out of summing forces in the Y or summing forces in the X. Well, summing forces in the X really don't doesn't give you much of an option here because it'd just be F canceling with F and it's like, I don't know what F is. So going to the Y, and if you started in the X and you found out, 
just go to your other equilibrium equation, which is the y. So we'll take everything in the upward direction as positive, and they all have to cancel to be zero. So I have my force of my pipe weight being transferred through, which is 2,943 newtons, minus off two of my forces here, which is force F. And then I have my ratio to get it into the Y. Well, each of the ratios is going to be the same. That's why I'm multiplying by two for each one. So it doesn't matter which one you look at. For the ratio, when you have these little triangle dimensions, it's always going to be divided by your hypotenuse side. And then the numerator side of your ratio will always be the dimension that is parallel to the direction you're looking at or measuring in that direction. So we're looking at the Y, which is the vertical, and the 1.35 is looking in that direction. So I'm going to go with the 1.35 dimension. And all of that has to be equal to zero. Well, if we work this out, we have 1.2 F is equal to 2,943 newtons. So therefore, my force F is essentially 2,943 divided by 1.2. And that gives me a total of 2,452.5 newtons of force for each of those forces on the diagram, which I don't really have an arrow for because I got one going down into the left, one going down into the right. So it's sufficient to show it like this as long as you have your free body diagram above it. So that's our answer for part A, how much tension is in that sling given the dimensions shown. So that's the first part. The second one is utilizing six meters. So really what changes here is that this dimension for the 2.25 changes and our 1.35 changes as well. The 1.8 does not change. And the original weight of the pipe of 2000 um, or the original force from the pipe weight of 2,943 newtons does not change either. Because we are changing our overall sling size, we're going to get different ratios here. So it's no longer 2.25 meters. It is now, well, you probably guessed it, 6 over 2, which is 3 meters and 3 meters. So the hypotenuse for each of these is 3. Well, if we want to find the vertical portion here for each one, same procedures last time. Now we're going to use 3 squared minus 1.8 squared square rooted, and that gives us a total of 2.4 in the vertical direction. So 2.4 and 2.4. So just adjusting our portions down here, it's going to be very similar to what we just did and the same reasonings behind it of summing forces in the y direction equal to zero. The equation really does not adjust too much. We still have our 2943 newtons minus off two forces of F times a ratio. And now it's going to be 2.4 over three because the 2.4 is in the Y direction. 2.4 over our hypotenuse of three. And all of that is equal to zero. So what I have here is 1.6 F after taking the two times 2.4 over three, gives me 2943 newtons. So my F for this particular problem, or this portion of the problem is 249 or 2943 divided by 1.6. And this gives me a total force in that cable of 1839.4 newtons of tension. So a little bit of a repetitive problem for both of those sections. Um, not as difficult as it seems once you write everything out that you have and everything that you need. <clears throat> Just make sure that when you're working these static equilibrium problems, it's always best to draw your free body diagram. And then once you draw your free body diagram, some forces in the X and Y direction, which this particular one we just did in the Y, because it does no good for us to do it in the X. And as I said before, if you went to your X first, you would see that. And then anytime you get stuck with one of your equilibrium equations, just go to the other one. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved of this variety, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.